Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Rise of the Tomb Raider. We're here in Katesh, I think this is. It's kind of seen better days. On the upside, it hasn't been bombed by Trinity yet. I'm pretty sure yet. Um, we have done a couple of the side quests. According to the map, um, we have a couple of documents uh, and a couple of challenges we haven't actually finished up yet. We have done one of the challenges, that's something. We have strong boxes everywhere. This is going to be a huge area that we're probably going to have to come back to. I'm kind of curious about the crypt entrance and the cave, but it's also possible that we won't be able to get to those just yet. Also, like a document there and there. So yeah, this place is enormous with quite the uh, winding paths to get through. So I think what we need to do is probably talk to Jacob. Um, it will continue the story, but I believe we can come back. I don't know if there's a reason to take out this cougar. I would mostly do it only for the special hide, but I don't think we need a special hide right now. I don't actually know. So let's see what our upgrades look like now. So look at our inventory and look at our equipment. We see that what we need for the larger rifle ammo pouch is a bear hide, 10 regular hides, 19 cloth. That's, that's a lot of cloth. We need six cloth for this, 12 regular hides, and one bear hide. So we don't have enough hides in any way. Uh, we don't really have much else to create. Now, I find it unlikely that there are, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven empty slots here? That doesn't seem right. Um, I can understand, like, this bottom part maybe only controlling, only having these three. Um, but I really don't think that's true either. So this whole thing's probably going to fill up over the course of the game. But again, I don't know. Maybe they just added in more slots than they needed. It seems unlikely, though. It seems pretty unlikely. Um, in terms of weapons, we have a bunch of things that need upgrades. Uh, if we look here, we have a custom grip here that needs like 16. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. So this has an enhancement tool that is needed for this. And then a refinement tool for these upgrades. So we're not there yet. Um, does look like we need boar hides at some point. We need antlers, which we have a ton of. Um, we need salvage, which we can get eventually. Okay, so that's it for the... Yes, okay, so enhancement tool is going to come up. We need oil, which I don't think we have a way to get yet, but somehow we have five, so I don't know what I'm talking about. We need two special hides for this. We also need seven regular hides. So yeah, we should probably just do more hunting. Oil is apparently a thing. Uh, if I look at the resource list, yeah, that's, that is oil. I mean, it's a drop. I mean, it could have been water, but I was pretty sure that was going to be oil. All right, so it looks like we already have one boar hide, but we're going to need more. We do know where boars are. Um, so that can be a thing we do. We have switched over to Golden Fang for the rifle. Not very good in terms of rate of fire, but pretty good in terms of damage. Um, maybe a little silly to carry a golden gun, but you know, the villain from James Bond did it. So of course he did get defeated, like pretty handily too. Can't go in here, can we? We can. Is there any reason to do so? I mean, obviously we can climb out. Just, I don't see, yeah, I don't see any reason to do so. Okay. So um, this might just be here in case you decided to go take a dip for no reason. Maybe there's a reason to do it later. The chickens are loose again. You know what? I'm only going to do that challenge once. I'm not going to do it 300 times or whatever it's going to take. Yeah, I know there's an optional challenge tomb nearby. Can we actually get to it? Where is the challenge tomb? That doesn't look too far. That looks doable. Oh, there's a document right here we should probably grab. Document's like right... Where is that? That seems totally doable. Yeah, it's right inside this building. Alright. What have you got for me? You have... Oh, it's just sitting out there on the table. In Greek. I made a mistake today. One that threatens to lead to more mistakes. I spent time alone with Alia. Something I have avoided until now. She reminds me of my beloved Sophia. Whom I thought I'd long forgotten. 
and it opens my heart like a wound. She clouds my judgment, even when she is not present. I sound like a giddy child, and those days are far behind me. I must bury these old feelings deep and stay apart from my people for a time. Well, obviously he didn't because he has a child named Sophia, which I'm assuming came from his time alone with Aaliyah. Time alone is kind of an archaic way of phrasing I had sex with, but um, I'm assuming that's how it's supposed to be interpreted. Maybe not. Maybe it just means actually just time alone. But I really think it's a euphemism. The next document's over here. More rabbits everywhere. We really need all these rabbits. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. Get some hoffin pepper, whatever the hell the thing is called. Not the squirrels. The rabbit. That squirrel knew to use that rabbit for that. Yeah, I mean, the other way around. Rabbit used, need, need, used to know the squirrel for cover. And they dodged. There's lots of rabbits all over the place. There we go. That actually is. I was scared away the other rabbits, though. Okay, two hides. Oh, and there's another thing to cut over here. Well, it's two of six, I think. So we're making progress. Yeah, two of six. Okay. Where's the document at, though? Oh, it's, like, right there. Okay, and there's the monolith. We should probably look at that so we get some more coins. Here is your lesson for today. Bring me any creature with feathers. The birds in our valley fly mostly by day, nesting away at dark. You've seen gulls and other kinds farther afield. Those common birds would count for today's lesson, but it would lack ambition. You clever students who wish to impress me would do well to head to the high elevations between dawn and dusk. I would find buzzard most impressive. So would I. And before you ask, the chickens around our village came here with our ancestors. Bringing me a tame bird from your mother's yard will not fulfill the assignment. And you can hear the contempt. <laughs> yeah, that would not count. That's fair. All right. Um, and we could look and see what it takes to open up either the cave or the crypt entrance. I, I suspect it's going to require materials we don't have yet, but I could be wrong. It could be something that's really easy to get to. Hello, squirrels. Let me walk in right up to you, huh? I guess that's fair. I haven't shown any sign that I'm killing squirrels. That was a horrible shot. I don't know what the hell I was thinking there. Did I actually hit him? I thought I hit him. I thought I saw a blood spurt. But I might be wrong. Okay. Is that a cave behind the waterfall? It might be. Uh, might not even be behind the waterfall. It might just be a cave we can swim to, like right here. And then dive into. There you go. Missing gear requires the rebreather. Okay. So rebreather is apparently going to be a thing. Okay, so that might be true for a good chunk of these. Yeah, like the optional tomb, etc., etc. Okay, so no. So let's not even worry about it. Let's go ahead and do the story mission then. So just head towards Jacob. Kill whatever beast we have on our way. There's a lot of torn up stuff here around here, might. This looks like something... If this was a fantasy game, and really, isn't it kind of? We know there's magic in the world, so maybe. If this was a fantasy game, I'd say that something evil exists here. And we need to take it out. Seems reasonable, doesn't it? Yeah, like, the bones, like, right here? That's gotta be something evil. Alright. We might need poison arrows for this. What do we got? It'd be funny if this ties into Baba Yaga again, right? That'd be pretty funny. Oh, there's a bear here. Another bear. Yeah, the draw on this is pretty good. Wasn't him again? Wasn't her again. Another freaking bear. Are you not down yet? There you go. We got her. 100 experience for that. 
I mean, the bear was clearly like tainting the land or something because those trees around her cave were being destroyed. Not just the trees, but the grass was dead. So I'm assuming this is only a good thing taking out this bear. We got two hides from that? That's pretty good. It's way more than I expected. Three hides from that. We can also break through there, get some explosive tight, get some more poison. Um, putting out some poison arrows might not be a bad idea. I think it's some other arrows there. So good. Alright, pick up some more poison there. Let's try bashing through this wall, see what we get. Be funny if this leads us to the optional too. Good. In case anything's possible. Come through here. But again, it might require the rebreather to do this or something else. I don't know. This is totally a rebreather thing, right? It's going down in the water. My guess would be yes, this is rebreather territory. Alright, so don't even worry about it for now. We'll come back here eventually. It'll happen. But yeah, we're going to have to go further into the story in order to make that work. Well, still, we got two bear hides. We're going to need those for later. Um, yeah, actually, don't we need those for the rifle ammo pouch and the shotgun ammo pouch? I think that's true. We also need a lot more hides. So we'll try to gather those hides as we go. So I have no idea where I'm going here. Do I need to go this way? Okay, well, at least it marked the optional tomb on my map. I appreciate that. Um, so kind of, I mean, we could go this way. Yeah, let's look at the river. I'm trying to figure out how the exact this river goes, but I think, assuming this is the still the river, maybe. Okay, no, the river is along the side here, isn't it? It's a little white along the sides, yeah. And then it's, apparently it splits into two. Interesting. Okay, well, I mean, we could look at the optional tomb here, but I don't think it's gonna be much different. Obviously, we need to swing from a rope at some point. Um, no. How about no? I'm not gonna do it. Oops. Okay, that is not gonna do that. Let's go talk to Jacob, because I'm pretty sure that's what they actually want us to do now. Did I want to do that? I think we wanted to... Oh, no, we want to go down the other way. Alright. It's hard to tell where any more documents or coin cash, if that matter, are gonna be. I thought we saw a monolith. Didn't we see a monolith? Must not have been here. Maybe it was... It was somewhere else we saw a monolith. So we know there's one around that's going to tell us the coin caches, but we might not be able to read it yet. But Greek's our best subject right now. Greek we have, I think, level 6 in. And it seems really likely that any monolith here is going to be a Greek. Okay, another piece. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Is we didn't look at the horn bow, did we? We'll talk about the opponent. Okay. Yeah, we didn't actually look at the hornbow last episode. I meant to. I kept being distracted. Uh, mostly because of my own fault. So, let's see if we can... Um, what bow am I using right now? This is... Is this might be the hornbow? No, it's not. It's the white bow still. So, I don't know if I actually did anything with the hornbow. I might have looked at it, but if I so, I don't remember at all. So we're going to go back up the bonfire and look at it really fast. I would love to run more consistently, though. I am tapping the run button. But apparently because it requires a full stop to do so. There you go. I don't know what makes it work sometimes and not others. It just... It's very finicky. I don't like it. But we could somehow make R2 the run button. I realize that wouldn't actually work because R2 is used for a lot of other things. Like, you know, astral navigation. That's a Star Wars joke, people. It's about as good as it gets to be around here. Alright, so we have a bow. Uh, sure, White Widow, you could look at that. But what I actually want to do is look at the horn bow, which is not actually here. Ancient horn bow, there we go. Worst damage, draw speed is good, terrible whole time. Rate of fire is pretty good. I mean, it looks awesome, don't get me wrong. But, um, okay, you can even make the rate of fire even better. But uh, no, I think it's actually pretty much junk, which is too bad. Desperate I like mostly because of the damage, but the draw speed is pretty bad. 
I think White Widow or... Yeah, I mean, nothing else has the damage. Obviously. White Widow might be the closest. Compound Bow is pretty good for damage. But, I mean, if we're going to do that, we might as well do Death's Breast, right? I mean, what's the difference? There is no difference. They are actually the same. Recur Bow is also pretty balanced. Very similar to the White Widow. Oh, it's in fact, it's the same. Okay, it's exactly the same. At that point, it's just a matter of aesthetics. Do you like the white or do you like the uh, do you like the natural look of the wood? Oh, the natural look of the wood's pretty good. Yeah, I think that might actually be better. Alright, well then, yeah, I guess we'll keep with this one then. That's too bad. I was really hoping the Hornbow would do something better for us. Hello there. Hello. Always nice to say hello whenever someone says hello to you. Don't always do it in real life. Usually I just nod and smile. If I don't know the person, I'll nod and smile. If I know the person, I'll say hello. I do think it's a little weird to say hello to just random people on the street. But I realize it's like a small town thing that some people really like. I'm just not down for that. You're a random person on the street. I don't really care if you say hello to me or if I say hello to you, you know? Just one of those things. Oh, okay, there's another one to cut down there. That'll be at least three of six. I didn't realize challenges were so far ranging, but it might actually be the whole area. So, I mean, could cut it down like that. Cut it down here with the combat knife. There you go. See, there we go. Three of six. Okay, so where's Jacob at? Or where does he want me to be? He wants me to be over there. I can do that. Oh, Alright, probably should attack the world there, but it didn't cost me anything. I have no idea why that is a rope. Yeah, why does that have rope on it? Nobody knows. Um, okay, that really looks like something I'd be able to open, but for some reason, no. Hello? Do you want to? You don't want to talk about things, huh? Well, we have number four or six. No idea why we're cutting down these rabbits. Can I pick up like the meters or anything? Yeah. Oh. Okay, it was just narrow. All right. Okay, he might be forming a bat. No, he's giving a speech, or someone's giving a speech, not they Jacob. Will come from the air. Jacob is assembling fighters in the upper village to draw their attention there. The children and those too old to fight will be safely hidden in the Acropolis catacombs. I will go there once things are in hand here. You said they were heavily armed. How can we expect to beat them? The fight will not be won in open combat. Fair. They will hit us hard and fast, and we will take losses. They hope to crush us in their initial assault, but we will turn their eagerness into our advantage. This will be a long engagement. If we hope to survive, we must wear them down slowly, strategically. We will bleed them from a hundred cuts until they have nothing left. Only then will we be victorious. For now, we light the fires, warn the others in the valley. Today, we win by surviving. Gather as much ammunition and supplies as you can. Hide them in the caves and ruins. When you've completed your duties, rendezvous in the upper village. Understood? Yes! Understood! Good. Now go. The Prophet be with you. And also with you? Is that how that works? Hello. I don't know. Does Catholic casuism work at all in this context? Something I can do for you. I you know me, lady? you're busy. Trinity is going to be here soon. There's much to do. But I want to help. Let me show you that I'm on your side. I'm sorry. This is not an easy time for us. I can see you mean well. But good intentions won't keep you alive out here. These new arrowheads seem blunt. A blunt arrow is better than none. Hello. We don't know what armor these invaders wear. I'm not sure these will be enough to cut through. It's totally enough, guys. You're still good. Greetings. I'm just telling you right now. I fought these guys. They're not all that. All right. And I'll totally take the cloth. Don't get me wrong. New base camp. Oh, okay. So I could have just come over here and looked at the hornbow, I guess. Did not know that. I'm guessing we come up here to talk to Jacob or is intermediary. Yeah, here we go. 
And that's probably going to start the battle, I'd guess. Lara, I could use your help. Our people are spread thin across the valley. If you light the signal tower, they'll know that the danger is imminent. I'll do what I can. Once the fire is lit, they'll know what to do. So, do you have like a Molotov cocktail or something nearby? Because that's the only way I can light these signal fires. So this seems easy enough. There's probably a rope bridge somewhere. Not where I can see. I mean, kill the bird. I mean, there's there. That seems a little low, but okay, we'll go for it. All right, down we go. And then I guess we have to work our way up. Maybe there's something here we can use. I mean, there could be the Molotov cocktails or something. That doesn't seem entirely stable. This seems far more stable, and actually I trust her with these axes more than I trust this shoddy Byzantine construction. Um, down I guess? So I guess we just drop? Sure, yeah, I guess we're dropping. Alright, yeah, yeah, I, that's what I figured game, but thank you for telling me. So, uh, bonsai. That seems a little unsafe, just gotta say. A little bit. I mean, she's not even tethered, but you know, we've already had that discussion before. She doesn't apparently believe that safety regulations exist to protect her. They're for other people. My guess is that there's a bunch of stuff I'm missing here, right? There's probably like in survival mode we see Okay, a lot of nothing, never mind. Maybe there'd be like a document tucked away somewhere or I don't know, a coin stash maybe? I guess a coin stash wouldn't show up in survival mode. So there could still be a coin stash here that we'll need to come back and get. Her reaction time is pretty good, gotta say. She's gonna pull a lot of axes out, no problem. That doesn't seem safe. Hopefully you'll need to, need to ever do this once. If anyone wants to rebuild this tower, that would not be a waste of resources at all, just saying. I mean, someone had to put the firewood for the signal tower in the first place, right? How the hell did they get up here? Oh, we got fire arrows. And an oil flask. Okay, so now we can pick up more oil. Maybe even upgrade the oil flask. Yeah, here we go. It's fire across the street. Cloth oil and normal oils. Makes sense. Can I pick up anything else here? Does not look like it. It's funny that this didn't show up in survival mode, but I guess it counts as a story beat. It won't show up in survival mode. Okay, up, up, and away, and, and there you go. I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing it has to be this direction. Hit it with an axe. There you go. Hmm. A little loose around here. Might want to just keep moving along. Bounce. There you go. Oh, yeah, that really doesn't look safe, but sure. Um, I guess we have to go around until we find an opening. Yeah, there we go. Try not to die here, Lara. Quick fire arrows. Alright. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that's distinct from poison arrows. I understand. Okay. And then just light the clock. Um, that's wrong. That's what I meant to do. It's this. There you go. Well, it would have been nice to be able to do that from further away. Thank you, Lara. Our people have been warned. That should give them time to evacuate. Meet me in the upper village. I'm gathering our forces here. All right. <gasps> oh, hey, oil. Probably need that. Yep. Use oil to craft fire arrows and destructive handheld objects. Sounds good to me. Got five oil from that. What about from this? Oh, hey, two points. All right, so now that we're going to go in that direction, how... Oh, it's okay, pretty easily there. Okay, so what I should do is switch to... Yeah, switch to poison arrows just so I have those readily available. I don't know how often I'm going to need the fire arrows, but I suspect it's going to be less often than poison arrows for taking out the bad guys, you know? Heck roll. And we have another piece to pick up. What is this? We already have bow parts, right? So, some machine gun? Heavy pistol, right, 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 the heavy pistol, okay. 
There's a monolith there. Okay, that is that the one I saw before? I know we saw a monolith before. I don't think this was it. So this is a second monolith. But still, coin caches are good to know, because we need to be able to afford everything in that shop. What do we got? Can I actually read it? Seems to be a Damn. map of some sort, but I can't quite read the words. Level seven. Shit. Okay, well, then we're a ways away from that. I think we're at level six now, so maybe actually not that far. Right, so hold on. So there's a mural there, which I guess we might as well mark. I thought there was an ally quest. Didn't say optional ally quest or something. Oh, over here. Really? Yeah, the tomb, I I realize that's a thing. It just seems like before we continue the story, we should make sure the allies are as safe as there's going to be, because I don't know if these missions go away or not. I suspect they do, but I don't know. An iron coin with one side cut and shaped into a crude claw tool, perhaps to remove nails. Well, someone's actually worse at archaeology than you are, Lara, so, you know, congratulations there. Where am I going? Okay, so there's a mural over that way. I can't read that, obviously. Why would I want to... Oh, I see. Okay, so this makes us able to make this jump. Alright, um, why do we want to be up here? Because there's feathers. I think that might actually be the reason. Is because there's feathers. Yeah, I mean, that guy's going to get quite the surprise when I jump down on his head, isn't he? Oh, wow, okay. That, I thought for some reason there'd be a, more of a lip there. I think it's purely to get these feathers, which I can't actually get anyway. Um, Alright, so there's the mural there, so bounce and tech roll. You're the one that came with Jacob. I have something to ask of you. Oh, so she's the one with the ally quest, probably. The followers of the Prophet fled, but they were attacked in Syria. Okay, I'm only level 5. Wow, we need to get level 7? How is that even going to happen? What can I help you with? Jacob told me you've got a knack for exploring. Don't say it like that. There are more old places, tombs, all around the valley. You may have seen the wards placed there to frighten children. It's not superstition. Those places are dangerous, but they also hold relics of our former glory. Not just trinkets, but knowledge. I believe we need that wisdom now more than ever. A decade ago, I'd have gone myself, but now... I could use your skills. We get Byzantine coins for each tomb and a sacred umbra outfit for all tombs. Okay, well, we definitely want those coins. I mean, we're going to do this anyway. The scouts tell me you've already been inside one of the old tombs. Would you share what you've learned with us? Of course. They belong to your people. We don't have much, but I have these old coins. If gold has value to you, I can give you some for every secret you find. 30 coins! 30 coins is great! That's fantastic! Okay, so... I mean, apparently we just need to touch the tombs. We've only touched them, we haven't actually done much with them. Um... Let's do the ally quest, because this could shore up their defenses. I have no idea if that changes the story at all. But it would kind of make sense if it does. Right? It kind of makes sense that if their defenses are better, oh, yeah, that's going to be a fall, then um, maybe they can hold off Trinity for longer, Hello and I can there. only imagine that being a good thing. Now, maybe it doesn't have any story consequences at all, and I'm just being hopeful, but, you know, it could happen. It's okay. The ally quest is... There we go. Um, can we actually get across this river? We should take the bridge. Yeah, there's a reason why the bridge is there. And the bridge is there because that river does not look passable most of the time. Sure, you know what? I'll take bullets. Probably not passable most of the year. This looks like the result of some spring thaws. But does weather really work the same way in this valley as everywhere else? That's a good question. Difficult to say. If it's from geothermal springs, I would guess no. 
I don't know, there has to be like some kind of seasonal variation, right? Maybe? I mean, the trees look alright. Yeah, there's clearly like sulfur around here. Okay, does she have more drones for us to take down? You. What do you got? What can I do for you? We need food and shelter for those that can't fight. We'll make emergency rations from dried boar and mushrooms. It's better than it sounds, but I don't think I'll be able to gather nearly enough. If you could track and kill a Razorback, as well as bring the rest of the ingredients, we might be able to keep everyone fed. For another day, at least. Okay, we get a Huntress outfit. Cool. Yes, of course. I'll be here. And thank you. Okay, we know where two boars are, right? We have mushrooms, obviously, for days. Alright, so we know where the boars are. They're across the river. We can obviously jump from here, but I don't want to do that until the boar are already taken care of. So I think the easiest way to do that is probably with poison. Um, assuming they're still in the same spot. There's a boar right over there. And it looks like he has a friend. Oh, he has a couple of friends. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to poison these guys. And there he goes. He's down, I think. Yeah, he's down. Okay. I mean, maybe poison's not the best option here, but... It seems like they're going to be that close to each other. I think that might have taken all three of them out. Might have been the best thing I've ever done. Maybe not ever, but no, in the game. I think I can jump from here. Yeah, totally doable. And then assuming it was just those three boars and nothing else. Oh, nope, of course there's another boar. Let's take care of him too. He runs for it. Okay, that is not typical boar behavior. I'm just a terrible shot, apparently. But I did take care of the other guys. Let's make sure this boar doesn't hit us with anything. There we go. Okay, two arrows take out a boar. It's not too bad. It's just a pity that I used four instead. Right, obviously, we still want the hides, so we'll just take all these guys. Fleet. Nice and easy. With all the hides we possibly can. Okay, so we get regular hides and a boar hide. That's pretty good loot. That's nice. Anything in here I can take with me? There's something I can explode, maybe? Oh no, I just pulled it down. That's even better. I was worried it would be an explosion, so I have to remember to come back. But even better if I just pull it down and right in over here. And relic time? No. Regular old stuff. That's not too bad. We're already full up on oil, which is a good thing to hear. And let's go ahead and head back. So it's kind of weird they use the poison mushrooms. I'm going to assume that cooking them destroys the poison. Unless you're just trying to poison them for some reason. Which seems weird. Will these do? Yes. Yes. I'll start drying the meat, but this... This should be enough for now. Thank you again, Laura. Glad I could help. Okay, we got the Hunter's Gear. And did we just complete two quests there? Is that what just happened? They had some weird overlay. Alright, let's head back to the bridge. We'll talk to Jacob. And maybe that'll actually start the story mission here. I think we're in good shape. Yeah, craft some of those. Craft some of those, and then we're in good shape. Probably more stuff that I'm missing here, right? Probably more pieces of the challenge, like the, um, there's more rabbits to cut down or something, but I don't know where that would be. So we're just gonna wander around and maybe find stuff later. The rabbit cut down, I mean, I don't know if those challenges actually give us anything. Challenge to nearby, I wonder if that's a tomb in there. It might be. Yeah, this might go behind the waterfall. It does go behind the waterfall. Okay, so yeah, there might be a challenge tomb inside of here somewhere, right? There is. Alright. But I also suspect we can't do anything until we get the root breather. So let's not even worry about it. I don't know, it just seems to be a theme with all the challenge tombs around here. Optional tombs, whatever you want to call them. That they require the root breather. So let's just assume that's true for everything here and we'll come back to it time. Okay, 
So let's see what the Hunter's Outlook here looks like. I'm kind of curious. Also curious to see if... Oh, sorry, we can also get skill available. Trinity All right. Being here. The people, they're hurting. That's down to me. I let them here. Is it, though? Oh, God. It's happening again, isn't it? People are suffering because of my actions. They would have been here anyway. No. No, you can't think like this, Lara, or you really will drive yourself crazy. Yeah, that's true. Trinity would have found this place sooner or later. Yeah, exactly. At least I had the chance to help stop them. Of getting to the divine source first and using it to benefit the world rather than cause more pain and suffering. Just need to focus. For everyone who's gone before. For everyone I've lost. Just keep moving. Right, that's all you can do is just keep moving. So less damage from explosion and fire seems like a pretty good idea, especially since... The grenades seem to have a very wide area of effect, and we're probably going to be fighting against bad guys pretty soon, I would guess. Um, supposedly, we have inventory upgrades available, so let's look at that. We did get some more bear hides, right? So I think this would probably be the best thing we can do. That is another bear hide. It's a bear hide for each of these, so we're actually short one bear hide. You know what? That's how it goes. Oh, we're actually short. Yeah, okay. Didn't kill enough boars, it looks like. That's what happens. Okay, but getting more oil is actually really good. Or more oil capacity. So it looks like the handgun has an upgrade for this. What do we have here? Sure, you know what? Give us more recoil stability. Why not? Now, the question is, do we want to keep the rifle as is? And I think the answer to that is yes. Because it has a lot of stopping power right now, and I really don't want to take that away. And you could argue that it's better to have more shots rather than a damaging shot every five seconds, and you might be right. But we've tried it the other way, and I don't know if I can actually say that it's been a success. It's been okay, it's been decent, it's been kind of working. But I think we can get the same kind of damage output from like a really good pistol shot or something like that, and I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay with like a really good rifle shot, presuming that I don't, you know, miss entirely. Which, considering my skills, Jacob, maybe about 50 Helicopters are headed your way. That is true. That is exactly Get here as fast as you can. All right, book it, Laura. Come on, run. Get behind the barricades. Move, move. Resistance will be met with deadly force. Look out! Stay on the cover. This is probably not going very well. Come on, Laura, just keep swimming. Gotta keep moving. There's probably plenty of stuff we're missing as we charge through here, but... Gonna give him the full 30? Somehow I doubt it. Well, that doesn't look good. They're already captured? Man, they move fast. Where is the divine source? Tell me! Stop! Don't hurt anyone else! Where is it? Wait! Wait! There's a map. The Atlas. It will show you the way. Okay. Tell me about this Atlas. Hey. Okay, maybe this is where we get the shotgun. This Jacob gives it to us. Yep, there we go. Pump action. Cover me! Hello. What the hell are you? How did you even get here? Where'd you guys come from? Reload this. I have plenty of shots, so I think we're okay. Obviously, picking up more would be good, but... Right, can we, um... Can we be more silent? I don't think the shotgun can be silenced, so let's, um, pick another weapon, maybe? Okay, the fire also glowing is a problem, by the way. I cannot get to this guy. He... No, there we go. We got to him. And now we're stuck. Now we're okay. Okay. Let's switch to a silenced weapon. Yeah, bow and arrow. That sounds good. Just seems like... 
in the middle of a huge firefight like this. Well, that's not good at all. Where I am? He doesn't know where I am. Well, not anymore. It's dead. I mean, he might still know, but he's not telling anybody. We got a lot of shit. Apparently, they want us to use the shotgun the whole time. That seems crazy to me. Why would you use the shotgun the whole time? Oh, okay. Yeah, they know we're here. Okay, hello. Come on, really? Shouldn't be shot from here. I think I'm safe. That was could have been done by a dodge counter, I think. Probably a little bit better. Hello. Okay, to be fair, I did get hit there. But also to be fair, I got him in a headshot, like barely any time to aim, so I'm gonna count that as a win. There we go. I'm gonna be able to pick some stuff up here. Oh, okay, so now she's just carrying the shotgun anyway. Oh, flamethrower guys. Um, that's not cool. I'm against it. That's also against the Geneva Convention. Don't know if you know that. Stand back. This is mine. I'll burn you up. Oh, okay, that's the problem. I did take the feet where I'm take less damage from fire, but I do have a problem with this in general. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to do is get around him. Oh, and I'm dead. Okay, I'm supposed probably supposed to get around him and ignite his. Propane canisters, even though that's pretty much impossible. This is mine. We can't hold this position right, Let's keep going. So all the way around. Maybe. We're going to lose the finish. Traveling. <laughs> that was a lucky shot. Okay, I can't actually like lock on or anything. So if I just come in like super close. It's not gonna keep you safe. We'll take more than that. Okay, that did not work. Okay, heal up. There is like a distance on these things, but we need to come in like super close and scrabble. Nope. Reload, reload, reload. Okay, there we go. Reload. Okay, I think that might have also been a good shot, but not as good as that one. Okay. Nope. Okay. I have no idea why there's cover here if it's not actually going to help me at all. If I can get hurt through the cover, does that make it pretty much useless? Oh man, I got hurt there. He does kind of favor his right. My right, rather. Okay, that didn't work. There we go. That seems like that almost worked. Reload. Ten shots. We can do this in ten shots, I think. There we go. There we go. Get away, get away, here we go. He's gonna explode. I mean, it seems like he was protected from the fire in that suit, but maybe I'm crazy. They're shooting fire arrows at the helicopter. That doesn't seem like that's a good long-term strategy. I mean, maybe it worked, but that just seems weird. So why were you showing me this? Oh, because you're giving me a set piece. We've been overrun by the natives. Croft is with them. Several casualties. Men are dead and scattered. Uh... I know. No sense wrecking the church. It's already pretty wrecked. We should have killed her. Yeah. You have nothing to show for your efforts. Perhaps she'll succeed where you're failing. I will not fail. Trinity will step in if you do. And you know what that means? I'm expendable. They have no interest in my survival. I need the power of the source. <coughs> and you will have it. Don't lose faith, Anna. This is God's will. Our success is inevitable. Please, just find it. My time is running out. Still got the stigmata going on. You know, that's probably not where Jesus was punctured. It's more likely to be in the wrist. If you poke holes in your wrist, you're not as likely to survive, so... I've come so far. I've endured 
so much. These final barriers you have set before me. These sins you have forced me to commit. They must have a purpose. Forced you? Really? That's Only your you narrative? Can show me the way. Grant me strength to continue for her. For you. For Trinity. Please. Show me the way. Okay, the way is um, you put the gun in your mouth. Oh, the stigmata, stigmata's acting up again. Now see, in a world with magic, you could maybe... Then blood it shall be. Really? That's that's the medicine you turn out of that, huh? It's not, remember Jesus' sacrifice, or you know, maybe you want to show some compassion for those who are bleeding on the ground. It's, no, I would need more blood. You really just interpreted it the way you wanted to see that. Alright, well, you chased him away, so yay? Pure victory kind of comes to mind. Stay with me. Stay with me. You know, if you do have the divine source, now would be the time to use it. I'm sorry. Your people don't deserve this. It is our chosen path. Our duty. It's never been easy. I understand what it's like to lose people. Trinity won't stop, will they? I doubt it. They have many resources. And the Atlas? It's an ancient map to the old city. But Trinity won't find it at that tower. Many of my people live in those ruins. They won't be prepared for what's coming. We set the signal flares. I can help them, Jacob. Or these like civilians. Will you do this for us. Or for that which you seek. At this point, does it matter? Right now, they're one and the same. Yeah, okay, that's also true. I'll be back with reinforcements after I've tended to the wounded. So it said the prophet has healing powers. You could yes. lay hands on. What is it? We're in bad shape, Jacob. Is that what's happening? And we have no one to send to the Acropolis. I know. I'll see to the wounded here. We have to get them to someplace safe. When that's done, we'll gather anyone still able to fight. Sophia will hold them off until we can. <laughs> that's quite a lot on Sophia. To God, you're right. We'll send a runner when we're ready. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Rise of the Tomb Raider. I'm PC Universe. You're PC Universe too. I'll see you guys next time.